Christmas wish, bring a tradition to her father who cannot be home for the holidays. Reporter Megan Hahn looks at how you can help. Megan? What began as a Facebook invite has grown into an effort across states involving dozens of handwritten Christmas cards. Matter of fact, if you called the VA in the Grand Island um, and you talk to the nurses, they all know him. He's just a jokester and he's one that keeps the mood light. A knee surgery turns into almost a year long hospital stay for 71 year old Navy veteran Joe Ariano. Despite complications keeping him wheelchair bound and miles away from his family in Omaha, the Navy vet never loses his smile. He tells jokes. He always has a smile. I want to see him get back to this really happy go lucky person and I want to see him home. After missing Thanksgiving and now Christmas and New Year's, daughter Victoria Novak wanted to bring a holiday tradition straight to the VA with a flurry of handwritten notes. So I created an event and I said for, you know, from now until Christmas, I'd love to just see how many people can send cards. The small gesture in the spirit of giving is growing with students at Millard and OPS sending their own snail mail along with handwritten notes from his granddaughter's ROTC platoon. Yuletide deliveries to room 306. There are moments where I really want to just sit there and I actually kind of welled up a little bit today because I mean, I just humbly wanted to get a couple of cards to him and um, I won't get emotional, but, you know, I want him to be happy, so. It's a message about the true meaning of the holidays, cherishing those you hold dear. You know, you don't have your family forever. Um, and he's my dad, and I want to see him happy, and I want to be able to have any opportunity possible to just be a part of his life. <laughs> If you would like to send a Christmas card to the Grand Island VA, we'll have more information on our website at 3newsnow.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. What a